Got me switch part. Yes, sir. Uh, the boys are back and the boys are sad. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, nothing to lose. And you saw that, you know, on the weekend, I think. Tough results, you know, but it's the first foray basically into, into you know, Heineken Cup and, and got to as far as the, the, the knockouts. You know, it's, it's something to build on, I think. You know, but yeah, uh, yeah. definitely. If you look at it in that way, we weren't we weren't gonna win it first time round. Yeah, yeah, it's it was, it's a different level to URC, you know. So, it, but at the same time, you know, questionable calls again. But you know, if you can start the shocks game as well, I think the intent from the shocks was just you saw that nothing to lose attitude they played. Yeah. I must say, current Bosch, look for all the, all the all, 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 all the downside, you know, and all the the, the you know the calling out. Honestly, he's he's he stepped up, and he, ever since Neil Powell has come into the picture, he's more confident even on defense. And now you see he's not afraid to even take people on and use his gas yeah. and show what he can do. And you saw that intent, the pace from Grant Williams, just you, you saw how lethal they can be. You know, it's just, I think, in the pack, yes, they were missing it. It's a bit, even though Hiron Andrews, I think he did pretty well, you know, especially you know, coming in for, for it's a bit, you know. Yes, it's chalk and cheese, but, you know, it, it did decently enough, but you could see that they were missing missing some big players. And then, of course, the hometown decisions and and questionable calls, because, I mean, even that, I think it was, it was that try, pulled up, I think that was a try. You know that they that they cancelled out Notch's try. So a lot of things were going against so against the shocks. And of course, because you must remember, they said that South Africa doesn't belong in the in the, the, in the European uh, competition. So uh, look, not to be conspiracy theorists, or whatever, but we all know, man, that it, it, that was for to lose. Yeah, to lose. <laughs> the thing immediately the crowd was in it from the beginning. That was also something yeah. that could heavily. The crowd involved themselves. The TV director yes. involved himself. There was, you yeah. know, a moment where that that Sharks try, he had no right to do that, but he did that. Mm. And then mm. to lose his final try, there was a forward pass and they didn't do that. Yeah. So it clearly it yeah. clearly shows, you know, there's a mandate to do that kind of thing, which I've heard rumors of Supersport doing themselves. So I guess I, I guess it's just a, a hometown advantage thing, but not like that, man. Like, like it, it makes a farce of the game. I mean, even when you look at the, the the everything that they do look at, you know, it's crowd pressure. Uh, you, you know, and the officials they need to be tougher. You know, to 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 make their own decisions. Uh, but at the same time, to take nothing away from to lose at home. They always they're gonna come at you, even though the sharks. The Sharks really they had them, and I think that nah that, that... no ah uh, there there I must say when you see when you see Ramos squaring the ball to Intermac, you're you're dealing with a yeah, different yeah. level of baller. You're dealing with a different level of baller. <laughs> Even when you look at their set moves, the things that they were doing, yeah, the Sharks yes, the the Sharks were competitive. Yes, I'll give them that that they were very competitive. Mm. There were guys that were playing. Noche Noche was playing. Was, was, playing. was playing, yeah. You know, there's guys, mm. there's guys that had their moments, but you could see that you're dealing with a different level of baller here. Yeah, no, de my definitely, people be getting gas. Oh, yeah, but I mean, you did well to recover. You know, in the, in that, if you if you looked at it, you got rounded, but he did well to recover. I didn't, I didn't yeah. think. I thought it was a sure try, but there was more desire from the sharks. There was hunger. They like I said, the intent, and then nothing to lose attitude. And for me personally, I think. As much as the, the the quality of Toulouse being away, be, being at home, you know that 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 notch try that gets cancelled out, it 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 boosts the home team. You know, it gives them energy that they didn't have because with that try, you know, it it, it brings questions. They start doubting, you know, and thinking, oh, shit, is this really going to happen? You know, and for me in that regard, up until that point, I think the the, the Sharks really handled Toulouse really well, you know, and then of course. Like you mentioned, you know, different level of ballers, and they just they took the game away, and and uh, ultimately they were found wanting. And I think ultimately it showed. I think what we were saying is that you know they they, they need to there's some fine tuning that needs to happen at the shocks. You know, they're not quite 
completely but for me it's not even that it's the fact that i think they did mention is their sixth trip to europe this season travel Mm -hmm. times splitting two groups two airports and that was a common theme with all three sides where you can just see these guys don't have the legs yeah well some of them their legs are too big you saw the lions the locks they couldn't fit (laughs) in their seats so there's too much legs yeah and but that's what i mean like fine tuning you know there's 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 it's it's also off the field fine tuning, but also on the field, you know, and, and for all the teams, all our franchises, especially when it comes to the the, the Heineken Cup, you know, uh, I think I think that 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 shows that you need a you need a, a better quality depth and better better management, you know. But as well, you need to factor in they're playing in URC, they always they're flying around, so you have to factor that in. But isn't it that's part of the reasons why they left Super Rugby? So at the same time, it's like you 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 left Super Rugby because travel was tough. Now you you know so let's put it to rest. Travel is always going to be there, you, you know. So you you have to find ways to adapt around that, you know. So at the same time, as much as it's justifiable in the first hit out, but you know next time around we're expecting sort of progression, you know. But look. For me, good display from the Sharks. There's very little that you could complain about in terms of the effort, the heart, the desire, you know, yeah. and 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 especially when you're seeing, for me, when you're seeing Kerr and Bosch, you know, rolling the dice like that and you know backing himself, you must know then that there is a belief that's there, you know. So they can only get better, and you can only hope that they can take this on, you know, into into the rest of the URC and see. How they if they can you know stay at that level or even get close to that level or higher you know so yeah but hard luck for the sharks but we still those on time decisions they influence the game big time yeah definitely moving on to stormers stormers visiting exeter I, 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 the match was to me it was lost before it even started when you look at the the yeah. the back row the changes yeah. that they had in the back row Dion Fury yeah. out there just wasn't mm. any balance. It was Poco Mella, yeah. I think Tiernison and um Ben Jason Dixon. I think that, that was the yeah. trio. Uh I'm not sure why Daimani was on the bench this time. Mm. There just wasn't the balance. And then Dion Faree is that guy that he pivotal things. moments, yeah, pivotal moments in the game revolve around him. And we're talking yeah. defense and we're we're talking scoring tries. Yeah. He was he was sorely missed on the day. And then on top of yeah. that, you can see the legs early on. They did at yeah. one point, you know, they tried to throw the ball around at one point and they got a little bit of success, but ultimately uh, it it, it, yeah, it, they, it they, never they, really took off. These guys were, 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 were in quicksand, you know. They, they really, in, in that first off, especially, the Storms are just like a shadow of themselves, you know, unrecognizable yeah. just in terms of the way that and look, credit to Exeter. And Exeter, they, they've been on somewhat of a resurgence, you know, in the last couple of seasons as well themselves, you know. So, you know, of course, they're going to bring that heat and 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 they did that intensity and, you know, that 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 dogfight. And you see guys like Jack Noel, they don't die in contact. You know, that's why he's an yeah. international, you know. Him you, and you Simmons, see, both but, of them, both of them found yeah. Marvin Ori out. Yeah, you can see why there's certain guys are internationals for for, for for England, but yeah, for the Stormers, from the Stormers side, they were just flat. They were just they were not in it, and it was it just so happened that it it was this game, you know, that it that, that, that it happened to them. I I I I wouldn't be too worried, you know. I think they'll be able to correct themselves, you know, going into the last rounds of the URC. You know, it was just disappointing, you know, because you know, it was disheartening that okay, this is our best, you know. A franchise and you know like you mentioned Dion Fury the question now begs is, is you know the next guy of the, you know coming off the, the the rank is he you know because now it's like this is the type of player that is that has been giving them that edge and there's nobody that's mm-hmm. able to now come in and replicate or have that same sort of impact and yeah that's I think that's where they'll sort of suffer a little bit but again yeah, it's just the factors that you mentioned with the sharks, the travel, all those things. It was nothing to lose, and they 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 didn't you know, for the, for the storms. Which that first off, it didn't look like they looked. They were playing the thing they, themselves, man. You, you know. Yeah. And yeah. And the problem is moments, also 
sorry, the problem is also you can't chase the game at 18 points down. You know, yeah. that's because that's, that's essentially when they started playing. They're 18 Could've points final. down. You know, and then you're throwing mm-hmm. the ball, you're throwing the ball around. There's always the chance that you're gonna get picked off, and they got picked off. And that's why we saw such yeah. a you know a big score line. Disappointing, obviously, Ori one on one twice he got caught out, but it was by mm. okay, it was by power runners, but there's still no excuse. Um yeah. Hartzenberg as well on defense kept getting found yeah. out. He's gonna be having was... nightmares of, of Woodburn. Yeah. Yeah, look, and it is you can just see it was just the the little detail and the, and that little bit of extra quality i think you you can tell that exeter are just on that other level you know in terms of just like the chiefs from super rugby that intensity you know that the tempo that they're trying to play with and it's almost defensively you know even during the game they, i think they spoke with one of the, the coaches or whatever from exeter and you say look we 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 preparing for a team that defends like us you know so mm-hmm. So obviously they made plans to breach the defense and they worked pretty well. I mean, you saw the tries that they were scoring, you know, it, 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 you can see that they worked hard at it. And yeah, the Stormers got found out and lack of energy. That's that's really what killed yeah. them in that first, in, in that first uh, opening quarter of that game. And look, at they were never going to come back from there, especially without a Dion Ferry, you know? Yeah, and also another hometown decision. That lineout didn't look straight. And yeah. then they had a try of their own disallowed for obstruction that was also a bit marginal. Yes. You know, and even there was, I think, the, the, the certain plays where you can go back where if you look at the original, I just can't remember the exact play, but there was an error by the Exeter player, but the player went on, you know, and it ended up being, I think they ended up getting points from that, you know, after, after the storm was infringed. And it's like, had that first incident been picked up, you know, wouldn't be in that position. And yeah. they, they're not making those calls. Hometown decisions. So, yeah, it's tough in Europe. The TMO was telling the ref to award the try. The ref was refusing. You know, yeah. so it... it uh, Some of these decisions, but uh, I suppose we, we, we are the ones that have to adjust to this kind of thing. The only other thing yeah. I wanted to say is I did rule Herschel Yankees out of the the box squad for the world cup but his box kicks his box kicks in this ge- in this game i think that will be that might be his saving grace that, that that will be saving i think that will be his saving grace but at the moment the way grant williams is playing um and the level of impact that grant williams has and his versatility to be able to play even on the wing i think he's more valuable right now to the springboks than than, than the Herschel Yankees is and he's more of a great breaker you know, uh, then the Herschel Yankees and I, 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 I'd like to disagree now and and still say I, I don't think he's making he's making the bus. You know, I, I think he misses the bus this time around. But we'll see as we get closer. But I still believe that Grant Williams he has to go. You know, and if Herschel's gonna stay, he's gonna stay. Yeah, next one, uh, Glasgow Warriors hosting Lions. Lions are only hope at this at this point. Yeah, uh, <laughs> late at night, you're crossing fingers and, ah, oh, shit, you know? Yeah, the thing about this one, again, it's, they were lethargic and unforced errors. And by mm. the time they started playing, it was just too late again. Yes. You know, the, it, the it, other it, things that, that, the other things that were major impacts, Rabs went off and Fenta went, yeah. Ruan Fenta went off. Yeah. And you're going to need Ruan Fenta in that game. We are getting bullied yeah. a bit, especially in the first half. You know, they yeah. were riffing the breakdown in a European way. Let me just say that. <laughs> so you needed Fenter there. You needed Fenter yeah. there. Andres Kutsia also came on and he was looking really slow for some reason. Yeah. yeah. No. The, so, yeah, the, the name of the game here was just unforced errors. Lions couldn't get territory. And when they did get territory, when they did get into the 22, it's a knock on. It's you can't retain yeah. the ball. It's it's just mistakes. Yeah, yeah. And look, it, but again, it's almost like the story of the weekend. You know, for the South African teams, it, it, it's almost like okay, yes, the travel and stuff, but it's like like the occasions just got to them because you must remember this is Champions League. You know, it's mm. it's louder. It's you know these guys they. 
they know what it's about, you know, so you still new here in the arena, but it's still not, not an excuse, you know, for basic errors. Um, and 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 I think they'll be kicking themselves because you saw what they played, that they had the ability to open them up, you know, they had the ability to capitalize, but they just weren't consistent enough in securing their own ball and, and, and converting. I think that's also another thing, especially even with the Stormers on the weekend as well. It was, it was a, 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 a sickness of getting into the 22, making mistakes on not converting, and mm. they paid the price, you know. But with the Lions, again, it was nothing to lose, you know, and, and we saw... We saw that they they can't put it together. You know, it, it, it's just the consistency that now we they, they have to be off the. It was know? unforced errors, and the lineout was terrible. Last week I came and I said, "Well done to PJ Woods," and I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna take that yeah, back. No, you because, must. Yeah, they couldn't. Get, they couldn't get the lineouts. They couldn't get the lineouts working, and it. <sighs> you can't build. You can't build from there if every time you, you're getting something going, you're losing a lineout. You know, yeah. again, Nohamba, that, that disallowed try. Again, I think that one might go into the bracket of hometown decisions. Personally, I would have yeah. allowed it. But I mean, I'm, I'd am i probably be a more let the boys play ref. But, you know, he got he got one in the second half. And I think Nohamba, big game, low, big game. Klabakanya, big game. They were loving big him. Game. Yeah, I know they were. He, he's He's been massive. The past few weeks, he's, he's he's slowly maturing, you know, and becoming becoming such an asset for the Lions, you know, and and yeah, we need to look out for him. And again, Nohamba, more game time. He's got the freedom. He's confident, you know. Mario Slow again. You need not need to say anything more about him, you know. It's just collectively as a team, I don't think they 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 were together switched on, you know, uh, for that game uh, up until it was too late, you know, the on button went on yeah. a bit too late. By that time, you know, it's already uh house is flooded, you know. So <laughs> yeah. It's unfortunate. It's it's a learning curve. It's just it's unfortunate, especially with those losing two big players so early on. Yeah. On top of whatever's going on in terms of travel and the occasion, you know, you lose two guys, but we'll we'll be back and we'll be back better. Frank Frankie Horn as well, big meters made. Yeah. You know, mm. so it shows there's life there, there's something there. There is. There is a good link up play as well. You know, they there is something there. Yeah, I think Ras again. Just, Sorry, Ras they... again performing. Yeah, look, he's he's he, he, he is stepping up. He is stepping up, you know, they're in the 13 channel and he's he's what is I think he's realizing what he's he's using his strengths, you know, because he's yeah. he's he's a shorter center, low center of gravity, so you know can be a bit more explosive in the contact, get a bit more extra yards off the off the contact. You know, he's able to free up the ball. He's not afraid to straighten the line. So, you know, you can only you know give him his his flowers. For me, it's just with all the teams, you can see uh, the impact of one or two players missing. Uh, or big players get going off early, how that impacts the whole team. And it's, it, it, again, it goes back to the quality of the depth for me. You know, if we, uh, that's something that the teams really need to look at, especially for for, for, for Heineken Cup. You know, URC, I think the guys, they, they're starting to manage to understand it better, you know, and I expect next Heineken Cup, once we're in there, it, we should see better results. Yeah, no, I'm sure there were even some Lion supporters in the crowd that could have done better at Hooker than than PJ Puts. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's for another day. URC, <laughs> URC back, uh Bulls versus Zebra. I think that one getting it wrong. Sorry, Sharks. They, they, Sharks they, versus Benetton on, on, on Friday first. Yeah, I think Sharks should should be able to ride the ship. You know, hopefully they've recovered in time, they're able to get the right balance in selection because I think they had a good one to carry cup. So yeah, we hope to see a, a progression from this weekend against Toulouse or, or in my view. Yeah. Then in Zebra versus the Bulls, Bulls, a, a nice week off, a nice week off for them. Uh, no Lions, excuse. Lions versus Leinster. No yeah. No excuse for them. For the Bulls, no excuse. <laughs> no, no excuse this weekend. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> and the thing, the no. thing is also, there's guys, no. there's guys on their way. 
you know so your job is also under threat so guys need to mm. start turning out performances before it's too late yeah. you know you 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 almost at this point it's almost like you're playing for your contract but yeah. um yeah lions versus leinster hopefully lions show the same tough fighting one. spirit and give them give them a bit of a run i don't see why not tough one tough one but i think i mean the lions against uh, the visiting teams from europe they've been pretty successful at home i think you know and you know leinster they like to do sometimes disrespect and send you know but it's not disrespect because leinster is leinster so mm. you know maybe they won't have the big stars but regardless of who they have i think the lions on the course that they're on it's nothing to lose you know they they, they could just spoil the party you know, so yeah, I don't see why not. Final one, Stormers, Stormers versus Monster should be a good game as well. Should be, a, should I think that one, that one definitely game of the weekend for the yeah, South African, uh, like from a South African point of view. And with Monster, they're gonna want to, you know, pick up points. I think I saw Ajis Neyman might also be in the squad, so it's, you must know it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big, big, big battle and. But they're at home, you know, hopefully they would have also recovered well enough to be able to 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 put out a performance at home, you know. And again, squad selection, we'll see who's available, who's not. But it's a tricky one, that one, I'd say. Yeah, they did a bit of trolling there with the Stormer supporters. They said RG's on his way to Cape Town. I think some guys thought it was a transfer. But uh, <laughs> any any closing remarks, Chris? Uh, no, look, uh, I think what we saw uh, ERC uh, from the Heineken Cup, unfortunate to have a second crack next time around, but now it's a focus, laser focus ERC, you know, the teams need to finish strong, especially Sharks and Stormers, you know, so that's that's where I'm at. 